So this is the KL90 with lubed and filmed tangerines, 205G0 with Kilo, Kilona films, whatever we use there. An aluminum plate, we did use that four millimeter foam. I do recommend we probably use the three mil because this was a little bit tight. We put the knob with the OLED and here we go. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. If you guys enjoyed the content you're about to watch today, please feel free, like, subscribe, drop me a follow, do whatever you guys need to do. I appreciate every single one of you. And if you want to catch me on any other platforms, all the links to everything is in the bio down below. Thank you again for stopping by. Enjoy the video. All right, so we're going to slowly unbox everything for the KL90. We're going to be doing the KL90 today. If you guys don't know what that is, this is Kiko is in chat. Um, so if you have a question about the KL90 that I cannot answer, by all means, at this underscore is underscore Kiko, ask him a question. Uh, but we have some, we have some knobs. We have our stabilizers, which we're going to be lubing probably here in a bit. We have the OLED screen. More importantly, the knobs. We're going to open up every box that came with this. I believe one of these is going to be a cable as well. This is from Voxel. I don't think I've ever opened another cable on stream, but this is from Mr. Voxel. This is to go with this particular, oh, these are cool. Okay, so this is very interesting. It's a little different from what I'm used to. Oh, it comes in like all the rods still. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, this is nice. So this is like very, this is a neat color scheme. Like a gold and a blue, which makes me really want to use like Voyage or something for this particular build. Really makes me want to use Voyage. Okay, so let's put that to the side. What box do we have next? Okay. This is the foam, I think. I don't remember the, the name of this company. That's bad. Matches your desk pad? A little bit. Okay, okay. Foam. Mat Dude, honestly, I'm I'm interested. Oh, here's the PCB. So I have actually not opened a lot of this myself too, guys. So we are kind of doing this together on stream. Stupid fish? I think that's what it is, yeah. We are doing this together, by the way. A lot of this is done together. Now, obviously, this is not indicative of the final pa packaging that we'll probably be getting with this. So there we go. Ooh. What do you guys think of the PCB? Okay, oh, I'm digging that, just that right symbol over there. All right, all right, all right. You guys kind of saw a sneak peek of this already. So we have two different tops and we're gonna vote on something, but before we vote on something, I need to let you guys in on something too. Hold on, don't look guys, stop looking. Don't look yet. Turn your heads away until I can get the box out of the way. Stop looking. All right. Ooh, very pretty blue. All right, you guys can look. Look at that blue. Dude, when I first took this, okay, when I first saw the photos, I was like, oh, dude, this is this is my reaction when I first saw the, saw the photos. He definitely upped the saturation in the camera. There's no, there's none. He upped the saturation. That saturation's boosted. And then I got it and I'm like, ah, oh, it wasn't boosted. It was not boosted. So very, very cool. So the other cool thing about this is it is you guys can kind of see it. If you, I don't know if you guys can make that. Up. Wait, let me focus. Why, why aren't you focusing? I don't know if you guys can really see it. It's made, it's made in the US. Made in the US. Oh, so this is for the OLED one. Oh. It's really purple. Like that's, that's really purple. Cameras don't do it justice. No, it really doesn't. It's really purple, dude. I believe this is the plate we're going to be using today. 
I think this already has the gaskets installed and I want to do the gasket now. So there's a, there's quite a few options already that's kind of presented with this. And the interesting thing about this too, guys, is you could do either a gasket or you could screw it down from what I understand. I hope the gaskets are fine, but we will find out. Please do that one. We're going to use this one here. So we got some choices. We got some choices. So what was interesting too is before I was even approached about doing this proto, I already had my eyes on this particular board. So this is like a gold color. Now I don't, this isn't brass. I believe this is also aluminum. It's aluminum, right? But I messed up the top design on the proto. So gasket is, okay, we'll do gasket. It's aluminum, okay. So this is aluminum. It's like a gold color. Like a mustard. I'll be, I'll be frank with you guys. Not a big mustard guy myself, but looks cool. Not a big mustard color. Like I can't imagine me using a board in this particular yellow. Me personally. All right, so we're going to be doing. Ooh, actually, that kind of looks good with the purple, though. Okay, so with that being said, let's unscrew this one here. Let's take this apart for now. You know, I wasn't too sure what I thought about this weight at first. The reason why I wasn't too sure was because I'm a huge design guy. I love the actual design itself. And I don't mind this. But the reason why I'm, I'm just bringing this up because this is like me when I do website stuff is because the rounded corner here is different from this rounded corner. I think out of if I had to pick one criticism to give the board, that would literally be it for right now. No, so it's the continuity of the corner. That would literally be it, <laughs> which is not which is not a bad thing in any stretch of the stretch of the matter because it's going to be flipped upside down anyway. Unusable, throw it in the trash.
So this is the KL90 with lubed and filmed tangerines, 205G0 with kilo, Kilona films, whatever we use there. An aluminum plate, we did use that four millimeter foam. I do recommend we probably use the three mil because this was a little bit tight. We put the knob with the OLED and here we go.
I like it. I like the space. It's not very heavy. Hold on, let me turn on the filter thingies again. One second. It's not very heavy, but I really like the way this sounds. This sounds really, really good. Wonder how it would sound with PC plate. Not a fan of the space. I actually like the space like this. This is kind of like my ideal space. I like the way this sounds. This sounds really nice. I'm into this. Some last minute thoughts, honestly, I, I'm, I'm digging it. I think it looks cool. I think it sounds good. Um, so I think some criticisms, some fair criticisms are USB port kind of big. I feel like this could be a little smaller too to match the OLED, but I believe that Kiko said he was going to be working on that. So this is a little larger for the OLED, as you guys can kind of see. Uh, can you do a soft sound test of the rotary encoder? Um, yeah, I can. No, we'll put it there. I don't have my, my uh, I'm not going to change the settings for this, but. sound test of that pretty slim board to be honest too it's a it's a pretty slim board when you look at it so it's actually not that thick but again i think my my issues are this this could definitely be a little smaller i think and i believe kiku said he was working on this though that's really cool both those cutouts will be fixed yes so there you go so those will be in interesting to fix too. So that should make the board look a little bit more cohesive. Um, but that's really it. I really like this. This looks nice. Uh, the only other thing that I can say is the foam. But I believe there's an option anyways to get three millimeters. So really cool offering. And I like the fact there's going to be 3D print to go with it. 